what's up everybody how y'all doing today you know what i'm saying hope y'all taking care of y'all set today you know what i'm saying y'all know what to do you know what i'm saying like share and comment baby and smash that dope bell for me baby you heard me and keep god for me baby over everything so on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off, and I'm going to play catch you by the end, baby. Let's go. With her three children nearby, tonight we're learning more about the story we first brought you last night at 10 from the family of the woman killed. Three children nearby. Tonight, we're learning more about the story we first brought you last night at 10 from the family of the woman killed. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelly Cook. 32-year-old Jasmine Eason was killed early Saturday morning, according to police. Cordelro Harris, the victim's boyfriend, has been charged with second-degree murder in her death. Eason's family said this situation is definitely unfortunate. Action News 5's Imani Williams has a story. Kelly Cordelro Harris was charged with multiple charges, including second degree murder. Court records show Harris first told police two men wearing ski masks kicked in his bedroom door, shot his girlfriend Jasmine Easton, and then stabbed him at the home on Rainer Street Saturday morning. Police spoke with three of the four juveniles at the scene who contradicted Harris's story. Harris later told police he shot Eason after an argument. Eason's family said she was afraid of Harris and was always trying to defend herself from him. This has been an unapproved section phase two, you guys. Second opening. An entrepreneur who had dreams of taking her braiding business to the next level. Uh, her style is she braided everybody here in the community. Those dreams were cut short when 32-year-old Jasmine Eason was shot and later died in the hospital. According to police, the shooting happened on Rainer Street around 4.33 Saturday morning. When police arrived at the scene, they found Eason and Cordell Rowe Harris. Police said Harris said he was stabbed in the hand. And this guy, he was an abuser. He abused Jasmine, and I think she was afraid of him, you know? Easton's family said she was loving, caring, and wanted to help her family. She was the mother to eight children. Her family said three of her children were home when she was shot. They're going to have to go grow up without their mom, and they seen everything. They're going to need counseling and everything. Like, it's the world we live in is not right. According to court records, in August 2021, Harris was charged with aggravated assault and domestic assault. The case was dismissed due to lack of prosecution. Those court documents show his pregnant girlfriend at the time said he shot at her while driving. The girlfriend said Harris told her he would kill her if she left him. 373 homicides have been reported in Memphis this year. A rising number of them include domestic violence situations. Eason's family said she was trying to get out of the situation with him because she feared for her life. She just said that she was trying to get out of that situation with him and he killed her. He didn't even give her a chance. The family now wants justice for Jasmine Eason and is looking for representation and counseling options for her kids as they move forward after losing their mother. Cordell Roy Harris is expected to be in court on Monday, reporting in studio, Imani Williams, Action News 5. Everybody here in the community. Those dreams were cut short when 32-year-old Jasmine Eason was shot and later died in the hospital. According to police, the shooting happened on Rainer Street around 4.33 Saturday morning. When police arrived at the scene, they found Eason and Cordell Rowe Harris. Police said Harris said he was stabbed in the hand. And this guy, he was an abuser. He abused All right, Jasmine. Well, and I think she was afraid of him, you know? There, you know Easton's family said she was loving. My thing is, yeah, did I hear that lady right? She said the dude had on shot at her while she was driving. 
You know what I'm saying? Then my understanding, if she did that, why she got back with him? And knowing that this dude said that if you mess with anybody else, I'm going to zip you up. You feel what I'm saying? But then he tried to say that this, this is so stupid, man. Men is just outrageous, man, when it comes down to a woman. Like, certain men, they just don't care. They just want that particular person. They don't care what goes on around them. They could go out and cheat and do what they want to do. Drink, have fun. But when that woman gets tired of certain things and then she don't want you because you out there making them a lot of mistakes. And then so she trying to pick up so she can take care of, that's what I'm saying, eight kids? Woman had eight kids, man. You know what I'm saying? To my, then he said that, first he said, this, this, this dude is just, man, I'm going to say stupid. This dude is stupid. Now, why you going to say somebody broke in the house, some guns, some people, two people broke in the house, some guns, you feel what I'm saying? Shot her, if he and he claimed he got stabbed or something like that there. But then it come to turn out the little kids, three kids, they was there and they seen and heard everything, man. You know what I'm saying? So what made you gonna make up this lie and say somebody broke in the crib and then start just doing what they want to do to y'all? And you the main one was the suspect all that time because you did it right in front of these three kids, man. That's stupid. You know what I'm saying? This girl was trying to make something out of herself. So by her having eight kids, she know for a fact it was a struggle, but she figured that she had somebody there by her side. I don't know if he was, did he have kids by this young lady or what? You feel me? But like the lady said, them kids going to really need some counseling, man. They going to need some counseling because certain things they seem be like, man, my mama ain't coming back no more because what he did. If them some kids were his kids, them kids, I pray that the kids don't hate their daddy, but I'm going to tell you something. And you can understand this shit, right? Because I'm going to tell you something. I got a, I had an uncle. He he passed. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? He messed around and shot his kid's mom. Right now today, her family brainwashed the, little, the girl. So she's probably about my age now, right? But you know what I'm saying? Pretty little girl. And uh, so my uncle named his name. You know what I'm saying? But her name was Brenda. I think her name was Brenda. When he killed her, you know what I'm saying? Living in Miami. You feel what I'm saying? Over there on 15th. You know what I'm saying? He cleaned, he was cleaning the gun and shot. But anyway, my cousin don't want to have no dealing with her dad. She can't stand it. But now he did. And you know what I'm saying? So we ain't got no relationship toward the one towards my uh my uncle child because her mama, grandma, you feel what I'm saying, brainwash me like we all ain't no good. You feel me? But anyway, that's a whole nother story. You dig? But you know, I can understand. That's why I be saying a lot of my videos, these kids gonna need counseling, man, because certain kids will hate that person, man. You know what I'm saying? So somebody gonna have to teach them right, like, hey, don't hate him. If that's if some of the kids is his, they need to teach them, don't hate him. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to deal with it if you don't want to. You feel what I'm saying? But nine times out of ten that he already has some outstanding record on him anyway. So he, he ain't never got to worry about touching down, visiting his kids, nothing like that. And I'm quite sure if them kids do get, get grown and they put in their head that they want to go visit him for to tell him why he did that, if some of them kids is his, because I ain't, I ain't heard him say, some of the kids are his, you know what I'm saying? They just say she had eight kids. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know if she had two or three from her or what. But, you know what I'm saying? The girl trying to make a good life, man, for her and the kids, man. But that dude, he took her from away from her kids. You feel what I'm saying? And I be here when people, I, I can't stand when people say that this person left behind the kids. No, like, no, that person ain't left behind no kids. You feel what I'm saying? There be some stupid means take the women from away from their kids, man. Just like when men kill other men, that man ain't left his kids behind. It's stupid people take you away from your kids and your family. You feel what I'm saying? Because they be having some jealousy in their bones, man. It's so deep, man. They can't get rid of. You feel me? But this dude can do that, man. I'm to my man. 
this this world just getting sad, man. I'm talking about real sad, man. It's like men's, man. We supposed to be men. We supposed to be stand up men's, man. You know what I'm saying? But some of us just say no stand up men's. You feel what I'm saying? Love is more important and then they soul. You know what I'm saying? They don't care nothing about your soul. They love you. You know what I'm saying? You try to lead them. Okay. I'm going to zip you up. You know what I'm saying? And then if, if he would have seen it with another man, guess what? I'm quite sure that dude would have, you know what I'm saying, did him and her. But she was scared. They say she ain't know how to shake him or go away. But she could have. She could have just. Her, she could have just moved away. You feel me? And nobody's going to never tell with woman that knowing that this man has shot at her once before. You feel me? And she ain't know how to wiggle her way up out of it. So she was scared to even more make that leap. Maybe she ain't had nowhere to go. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I'm quite sure, like, like in a city, if you know you're getting violence and stuff like that and mess the violence and stuff, man, the city should, should at least take the women that really want to get away, will really want to help themselves, will really want to, you know, have some business about themselves, ain't getting in trouble. I think the city should help them move, you see what I'm saying, to a better place so that person can't find them. You feel what I'm saying? And then, and her people's in there, you know what I'm saying? She tell her mama where she at, but make sure mama don't tell her where she at, because her people ain't no telling. You got people do that. Like, oh, she stay on, woo, 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 woo. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying, man? Everything got to be here, you know what I'm saying? Everything got to be presidential, you feel what I'm saying? So, people don't have to go through the things they go through, man, from off some new silly old men's, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna say the other word, but you know what I'm saying? That right there, man, don't make no sense, my good people, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, my good people, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to scratch that. That's the end. That's all I got for y'all. I want y'all to comment. You dig what I'm saying? And y'all comment. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like my video. You know what I'm saying? I see y'all watching, but y'all ain't liking my video, baby. You know what I'm saying? This hard work. If you hear me, I'm just trying to get there. I'm just trying to feed myself. You know, continue on doing what I need to do. Take care of my kids, too. You feel me? Because it's hard out here. You know what I'm saying? Because rent is like up the roof. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying, my good people. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. You know, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God free, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.